guys, welcome to the Royal Protocol and the Eternal King Series 2. This week is about the British Royal Dressing Etiquette. Do you agree that playing pretend princess game or imagining one without a tiara would be dressing up like cowboy without a hat? But do you know that this impressive piece of royal jewellery is reserved only for married women and the brides? Yes, tiara is a sign of status of royal ladies. The British Imperial family has many such dress codes to follow. Let's get to know a few of them. The little royal girls wear dresses called frocks, while the young boys always wear shorts. They have to wear them until they are 8 years old, then they are allowed to wear trousers. Men of the royal family have to dress up in formal suits for weddings and other formal events. They must wear ceremonial military uniforms. Dresses with appropriate length is the dress code for the ladies. Trousers with a jacket or cardigan is also acceptable, but short skirts, sleeveless dresses are discouraged. Except for casual events, all royal members are not allowed to wear denims or jeans. A royal's hair must be neat and simple. No messy hairstyles are accepted in the royal family. The royals must keep their nails short and clean. Color nail polish isn't allowed for the royal ladies. They can go for a subtle neutral polish. Bold makeup does not befit royalty. So is adorning with too many jewelry and accessories. In short, modesty is the tone of royalty. Friends, the Bible, which is a book of royal protocol, explains our dressing etiquette too. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 9 and 10 counsel us that God wants us to dress in an orderly, moderate, reserved and decent way, in a way that expresses our Christian character. Exactly. Our dressing must profess godliness, and it should be our good works, not our clothing that should draw the attention. Furthermore, 1 Peter 3 verses 3 and 4 say, Do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is very precious in the sight of God. So, let's strive to put on Christ and let's be Christ in action throughout this week. Bye friends!